Then uh, I'm going to give the floor right away to uh, Ron, uh, Lynn, uh, I mean Lynn, uh, and a colleague of Ron. <laughs> and there's many excellent work that can be shown uh, by the students. And I give you the floor, Lynn, for I know you've done a uh, half a year of work, and so you have only five minutes, <laughs> but uh, just to highlight the yeah. relevance of this issue for any future strategizing. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Ling. I will give a presentation about the genomification. And so at first, we could look at the generic verification workflow. So we could see from the picture on the right, you can see there are three main phases for the verification. At first phase, we, we do the analyze uh, data and metadata. And it, this it's all about the current data already correct, uh, collected. And then based on the analysis result, we do the verification, uh, including the define the semantic model and make data linkable. And after that, we can use the fair data. However, in this way, we are making the data fair based on the already collected data. So in this, and also uh, from the paper, I already found most workflows make data fair and most uh, are performed after data collection. And we could call this way post hoc verification. And what about we we'll think further? What about we do things before the data collection? And, they, and then it comes to, uh, to neural verification. The neural verification involves automating the process of making data fair in the real time during the data collection. So the picture we can see at the, do uh, at the top of the picture is the post hoc verification. And there is no work be before the collecting date. But from the bottom of the picture, we can see the general verification. We do the pre verification and the facilitating verification before data collection. And in this way, when we uh, generate our data in the electronic data capture system, we can make the data automatically. And the, in this way, the uh, data verification is real time. So what are the advantages? Mm -hmm. We can see, uh, this is the paragraph I found from one paper. It says, in this way, it reduces the reliance for the post hoc verification, which is repeated. And the same, we also need to semi-manually transformation from the original data to the fair data. And also in this way, we can save time and save budget. However, although there are so many advantages, uh, there's still a research gap because I can find the first project uh, applied this way as in 2021. And after that, there's no uh, project also doing in this way. So uh, there's uh, investigation is required that we need to identify the barriers of the denomification and how we could uh, overcome these barriers for the widespread of the denomification. That's it. Thank you.